So my guess is that you're here because you saw the title of today's video, which means that I don't have to keep it a secret. So I made a very special holiday purchase for myself and my family, and I bought a Tesla Model Y. I can't even believe I can say that sentence out loud. I feel weird even saying it out loud. I'm going to give you some background information, but first I just want to put out there that there's probably three schools that people are falling into. The first being, so what? They're not that expensive because the people who are saying this and good for them have way more disposable income than I do. I think the second is where I fall and it's like really exciting to be able to achieve this goal and I'll talk about that in just a second. And I think the third camp might look at this and think that this isn't something that they could do or achieve or why would you want a vehicle that's this expensive um, or the brand name in any case. So. I'm not necessarily here to appease anybody or definitely not try to change anyone's mind. I just wanted to share my story with you because that's what I do here. And for those of you thinking that, ooh, her success on YouTube, that's why. No, not yet, no. I wish I could say that my growing subscribers, who I am so incredibly grateful for and the achievements that we've made this year on YouTube could supply me with a car payment each month, but we're not there yet, friends. <laughs> Share the video, tell your friends. I am but a humble school teacher during the day. So if you've been here for any amount of time, then you probably know that I am a goal setter. I am a type A Aries Enneagram 3 firstborn, so I love me a goal. And normally, not during the holiday season, you'll see my goal books back here. And I've also, I think at the very start of 2021, talked about my mindset, how I prepare, how I set goals, and how I work toward them. So I'll make sure that those videos are linked above just because we're also coming up on a new year and that might be something you wanna work on. But I have written as part of my life plan 10 goals I drive a Tesla. I drive a Tesla every day for probably three, maybe even four years. I first sat in a Tesla Model X eight-ish years ago in the Mashpee Commons when there was a Tesla dealership, like one of the first stores there. It's no longer there. And Mark said to me, why don't you just get in and see what it's like? And the Tesla Model Xs are over $100,000. So in my brain, I wasn't yet living in my abundance mindset and I went immediately to scarcity. I'll never afford this, so why would I get in? And then I sat in the driver's seat and I thought, I have to find a way to make this happen. It's something about that glass sky roof. It's not a retractable roof, but it is all glass and it is unreal. It's like you are one with nature. So I thought about it. I sat on those thoughts for years. And then when I started mapping out who I was gonna be in 10 years, that idealistic version of myself, this was also pre-weight loss surgery. I knew what size I wanted to be, what I wanted to look like. Strangely enough, I wanted to have naturally curly hair, like restore my hair to its natural health. I wanted to be able to drive a certain car. I wanted to be able to take my family on vacations. And whether you believe in the power of manifesting or not, maybe it's just action toward your goals. I am now living that life. It hasn't been 10 years yet. I have lots of big plans for myself, but the more I pay attention to the things I'm writing down and how I manifest them in my everyday life, the more real they become. So let's talk about the backstory. I had been leasing. Also, I hate leasing. I had never leased a vehicle before. I had been leasing a Jeep 
Cherokee and I knew that I was going to give it back and I have loved Jeeps for years. I have driven like the original old school Cherokee, driven a Jeep Wrangler. My husband has a Jeep Wrangler, like we are a Jeep family. So when I needed a bigger car after my Mini Cooper, which I absolutely loved driving, I figured a Jeep would be a great fit. And it turns out that it wasn't the best quality vehicle. My screen would turn blue occasionally or freeze on reverse so I could only see what was happening out the back camera. And when it was time to give that back, I thought about going back to Mini and then I actually went to the Jeep dealership one day to get something fixed in it, thinking that maybe I would sell it privately and they couldn't help me. And I was so frustrated that I called the brand new Tesla dealership that had literally just opened an hour away and said, I'd like to come in for a test drive. And I scheduled a test drive right over the phone with a robot, not a human, strangely enough, because it's Tesla. And then I drove myself from the Jeep dealership all the way to Norwell to test drive a Model Y. I'm gonna insert that footage here. This was over the summer, this was in June, so it's been a while. I am doing something wild today and I'm test driving my dream car, which is a Tesla Model Y. Now this is a Tesla Model Y seven passenger. I'm interested in the five passenger, but I'm test driving it to manifest it into its destiny. Look, there's a little camera here for your key which is your phone or this crazy card that they give you. Let me show you what it looks like in here. By the way, this is the key. This is a hotel. There are no buttons. Let me show you. Then I came home and I placed my order for a Tesla Model Y that day. So the way this works with Tesla is that you put a $100 fully refundable deposit down and then as your car gets closer to being made, most of them or most of the parts are made in California, then they reach out to you. Now, because this is all during the time of COVID and as you may or may not know, used cars and new cars are actually really hard to get right now. So I waited from June until mid-November to pick up my Model Y. Now in the meantime, I had to give my Jeep back to the dealership. Luckily, we have a third car. So Mark has like a commuting car that he takes to work. So I was able to drive his Jeep Wrangler for all of July, August, September, October, and half of November. So almost half a year that I drove the Wrangler and that puppy just loves gas, loves it. So expensive. And I was getting really anxious. I was checking the Tesla app a lot because everything with Tesla is done digitally. And then finally the day arrived where I got a phone call, an email, and a text saying that my car was ready to be picked up. So Mark drove me to the dealership where my name was on the inside of the Tesla, also with a little like gif of Elon Musk, which really just tickled my fancy. And then we got to take her home. Today is finally Tesla pickup day. 
So you'll have noticed in these clips that they started over the summer. It is November 20th, I think. One moment. It is Saturday, November 20th. So we've been waiting quite some time, um, but I think that's fairly normal in the car world today. Anyway, I'm feeling a bit nervous because yesterday on the Tesla app, I finished signing all of my paperwork and I paid the deposit, which I know money is a very taboo subject to talk about and I'm not gonna give you the amount unless you're curious, but it was more money than has ever been in any of my personal accounts. Like, it's not the same as a mortgage, if that makes sense. Like when you send your down payment, this was like my money, my money that I've been saving from my job, from YouTube, from cleaning the Airbnb, like for years. And it was for this, like this was a goal that I've been working toward but it still feels stressful to send such a quantity, especially through an app. So I know when I see the car and when I get in it and turn on Santa mode for the first time and it's mine, that it will all be worth it, but it's just hard to see that money go. And I know it will come back, abundance mindset, right? I know it's gonna come back. I can definitely save that much again. I've just been working for so so hard on that for so long. So, okay. It's the morning of. I filled up the Jeep yesterday for the last time, at least for me to fill it, I think. Um, and that's not to say that I won't be driving the Jeep. The Tesla is very much a shared vehicle. So, and Mark works far away. Honestly, like he's the one who should have the Tesla. So he'll definitely be driving it, but I'm so excited. I'm so excited and I hope that doesn't come off as like snobby or elitist. I don't know. It's an uncomfortable thing to talk about, but I'm really, really excited to have my own car again. It's been months since I've had one that's mine and a car that I have wanted for years. So just a quick backstory. About 10 years ago, I sat in a Tesla Model X for the first time at the Mashpee Commons. There used to be a Tesla dealership there. I didn't even know what Tesla was, and Mark was like, just get in. And I was like, that's ridiculous. I'll never be able to afford this car. And that may still and always be true of a Model X. They're very pricey, but so cool. So I sat in it, and from that moment, it like planted a seed in the back of my mind, like, this is the car, you need a Tesla, this is the car for you. And when we were looking at next cars after my, um, my lease, I knew I wanted it to be electric. Uh, and so we were looking at ranges, battery life, warranties, and it's real, it's happening. So I feel like for 10 years I've been manifesting this car and today is the day. <laughs> I'm excited. We're here. has my name on it. <laughs> this is so exciting. So, I just wanted to share with you that you can set goals and meet them. Even if it takes four years, even if it takes 20 years, you can achieve your goals. I am so excited to have this car. The plan is to have it for hopefully 10 years. I, I'm excited. I really love getting in and driving it. And I'm not a person who cares this much about cars. Like I don't have a favorite car when people are like, if you had a million dollars, what would you drive? I mean, I guess I would drive a Tesla Model X if now that I have the choice, but I don't care. That doesn't matter to me. And driving it has actually been joyful. Like it's fun to get in it. It's like you're driving a spaceship. 
I don't know how much information you want here from me. This is obviously not a vehicle review channel. So if you want more details about Elsa, that's what I've named her, then please leave them in the comments below. I'm happy to do more in detail. I wanna show you my favorite feature. Run, run. Ah! So I've owned the Tesla, who I named Elsa, for about two weeks, and I wanted to show you one of my favorite features that I am certain I will have shown you in the clips when I test drove the first one. I still have not taken down the sheet protector because there's a screen cleaning mode, hello, in the background here, where you can use a cloth but this way you can see all the fingerprints and I do not want these fingerprints on my beautiful screen. So I did order a special protector to cover this, but it has not come in yet. Okay, let me show you my favorite feature now. There are several different modes, but I will tell you that the Santa mode is more than 30% of why I wanted this vehicle. Now, when you're in Santa mode, your car doesn't look like a car. It looks like Santa's sleigh. Now you can have it play outside because there are speakers outdoors. I don't actually know. Let's see if we can try this, okay? I'm gonna roll my window down. I don't know if I'm gonna get a copyright strike for this. Let's see if we can hear it. <laughs> also, is a jingle all the way, which is not outside. Here we go. Okay, so let me get out of park. I do not have my seatbelt on because I am stationary. Ho, ho, ho. There we go. Also, the harnesses on the reindeer light up with your blinker. So I'm just saying, let's park. Now I'm Santa and I can live all of my dreams come true. Some of the other options here, this is one of Callie's favorites. Yes, you can make your car fart and you can drag, sorry, pass gas. Yep, that's not me, obviously. We can do this on demand. That's, that's pleasant, isn't it? And then there's also this feature called romance mode, oh hello, where the heat automatically comes on with the fire and then there is a romantic <laughs> song that comes on. So that's a, a favorite of Callie's. And then one of the other features we've really been liking while we're waiting for things to happen is that we can watch TV. Ooh, new to Disney Plus. I hope you are having a magical holiday season. I know this isn't technically a holiday video, but because of the Santa mode, I really wanted to sneak that in. And again, if you have any questions or comments, Leave them here so that I know if you want more information on this. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate every single one of you, and I hope you're having a magical season. Bye, everybody.